Welcome to Evolution Tech, where today's topic might just leave you with more questions than answers. Are electric vehicles really on their way out? Could the big EV dream be turning into a nightmare for manufacturers? And what about those unsold EVs piling up in lots? Are they signaling the end of an era? Stick around as we unravel these mysteries and take a deep dive into the unexpected twists and turns of the EV industry. You won't believe what we've uncovered. Today, we're diving into the startling reality of EV sales. Picture this, dealerships filled with brand new electric cars, yet they're just sitting there, gathering dust. Surprisingly, it's not just a handful of vehicles. We're talking about thousands of them. This huge pileup of unsold EVs is turning heads and raising eyebrows. But wait, there's more to it. Why aren't these futuristic cars flying off the lots? Well, it seems like the initial excitement about EVs has hit a speed bump. Consumers are hesitating, and these silent, shiny cars are left waiting for owners who aren't showing up. This isn't just a small hiccup. It's a big jolt to the whole EV industry. These unsold cars aren't just numbers on a spreadsheet. They represent a shift in what people really want from their vehicles. And guess what? The impact of this is huge. It's not just about the cars themselves, but it also shakes up the plans and predictions of car manufacturers who thought EVs would be the next big thing. Let's dive into the clash between government demands and the hard truth of the car market. Here's the deal. Governments around the world are pushing hard for more electric vehicles. They say it's all about being green and saving the planet. But hold on a second. What's happening on the ground tells a different story. Car companies are feeling the heat big time. They're being told to make more EVs, but guess what? It's not that simple. These EVs are expensive to make and not selling like hotcakes. So what's a car maker to do? Some are scratching their heads, wondering if going back to good old gas cars is the answer. But wait, there's more. Imagine being a big car company, stuck between making pricey EVs that few are buying and facing government penalties if you don't. It's like being caught between a rock and a hard place. This tug of war is causing a real stir in the industry. Next up, let's zoom into the price tags of EVs compared to regular cars. Now, if you've ever walked into a car showroom or browsed online, you might have noticed that EVs often have a heftier price tag. Why is that, you wonder? Well, it's because EVs are packed with advanced technology like batteries and electric motors, which cost a lot to make. This means when you buy an EV, you're not just paying for the car, you're also paying for the fancy tech inside it. On the other hand, traditional cars with petrol or diesel engines are less expensive to produce, making them more wallet-friendly. So when an average person thinks about buying a car, this price difference can be a real game-changer. While EVs promise savings on fuel and maintenance in the long run, the initial cost can be a big hurdle for many. For a family looking to buy their next car, this could mean choosing between an EV and a more affordable conventional car. It's a tough decision, right? Especially when you're trying to balance your budget and maybe even dream about contributing to a greener planet. This price gap is not just a small bump in the road. It's a huge factor that can sway a buyer's decision. Let's jump into one of the biggest worries that EV owners face. Range anxiety. It's all about how far an EV can travel before it needs recharging, and trust me, it's a real concern. Now you might have heard EVs can go plenty of miles on a single charge. But here's the twist. The actual distance an EV can travel can be way less, especially under tough conditions like cold weather or when driving up hills. Why does this happen, you wonder? Well, EVs rely on batteries. And just like the battery in your phone, they don't do as well in the cold. They lose their charge faster, which means the car can't go as far as you'd expect. And if you live somewhere with lots of hills or you're carrying a heavy load, that's going to drain the battery even quicker. Imagine planning a trip and realizing halfway that your EV might not make it to the next charging station. That's what range anxiety is all about. It's like going on a long hike, but not being sure if you have enough water. Let's dive into the chaotic world of EV charging stations where things aren't as smooth as they seem. Picture this. You're driving your shiny new EV, and the battery is running low. You think, no problem, I'll just stop at the next charging station. But when you get there, it's a whole different story. 
The station is either out of service or there's a line of cars waiting, longer than the line at the newest blockbuster movie premiere. This frustrating scenario is more common than you'd expect. In fact, a recent survey by J.D. Power revealed a shocking truth. 20% of EV owners faced this exact problem. That's like two out of every 10 people going to a charging station and leaving without being able to charge their car. The disappointment doesn't stop there. Even when you find a working station, charging can take way longer than you planned. Imagine needing a quick charge, but it turns into hours of waiting. And let's not forget the cost. Charging your EV away from home can hit your wallet harder than you thought. These issues are turning the dream of owning an EV into a bit of a nightmare for some, making people think twice about going electric. Next up, let's dive into why the speed of charging an electric vehicle, EV, is a bigger deal than you might think. Imagine this, you're on a road trip, your EV's battery is running low, and you find a charging station. But here's the catch. Charging your car isn't as quick as filling up a gas tank. Some EVs can take hours to charge fully, especially if you're using a standard home charger. While you can find faster chargers at public stations, they're not always available or might be busy. This means you could end up waiting longer than planned, which isn't ideal if you're in a hurry. Moreover, the time it takes to charge varies based on the type of charger and the EV model you have. Fast chargers can give your car a good amount of range in about half an hour, but they're not as common as slower ones. Now think about being in a remote area where charging stations are scarce. You'd need to plan your journey around these charging points, which can be a real headache. Plus, as more people buy EVs, these stations could get even busier, making it a game of patience to power up your car. Let's talk about something that happens to every electric vehicle over time. Their batteries start to lose their spark. Just like how your phone battery doesn't stay as strong after a few years, EV batteries face a similar fate. This isn't just a small issue, it significantly impacts how the car performs and its value if you decide to sell it later. Initially, your shiny new EV might zoom for hundreds of miles without needing a charge. But as time passes, you'll notice the miles you can travel on a single charge getting fewer and fewer. This decrease in battery efficiency can be quite a headache, especially if you're used to long road trips. Let's dive into how car manufacturers are really feeling the pinch with their EVs. It's a bit of a shocker, but some big names in the car world are actually losing money on every electric vehicle they sell. Imagine that. Every shiny new EV rolling out of the factory is like a mini financial hit for these companies. Now you might wonder, why keep making them if they're losing money? Well, it turns out it's not so simple to just stop. These car giants have invested a ton in developing these electric marvels. From research to fancy new tech, a lot of money has gone into making EVs the future of driving. But here's the catch. The cost of making an EV is still pretty high, and when they put a price tag on it, it's a tough sell. So, they often end up slashing prices just to get these cars off the lots, which means they're not making back what they spent. It's like throwing a big party and then having to pay people to come. As we reach the end of today's journey through the twisting roads of the EV world, it's clear that the story is far from over. Are EVs racing towards a cliff or just hitting a speed bump on their path to revolutionize transportation? The answers are still unfolding. If you're intrigued and want to stay updated on this electrifying saga, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Keep your eyes peeled for our next video where we'll continue to uncover the evolving tale of electric vehicles. Until then, stay curious and keep questioning.